Hey, we're Mortgage Nerd. Just did my video on the domino effect that forbearance can have on the mortgage industry. The, even the back end of the mortgage industry you would never think of. But what kind of effect can a forbearance have on you as an individual if you are going to miss your payments? Now they keep saying, oh yeah, forbearance, you're not going to have any issues because the government is doing this and they're going to make sure that you're okay and you're not in default. But look, the truth is, think of the domino effect that I just mentioned. Go and watch that video. If somewhere in that domino effect, these people say, we don't care what the government is saying, you need to pay us. You signed on the dotted line that you would be able to pay and just because you lost your job, it doesn't mean anything to us. I'm not saying that's gonna happen. If it does, it's gonna be a small amount of people that it's gonna happen to, I hope, but you never know. My point is, the forbearance needs to be a last resort. It's either, I'm gonna feed my family or I'm gonna pay my mortgage. Hmm, forget the mortgage, we need to eat. That's what it needs to come down to. So don't think, hey, this is gonna be a savings plan, I'm just gonna kick back and not send in my mortgage payment. There could be some repercussions on your credit or anything else, or just think of the domino effect, the repercussions on the entire mortgage industry. Just for you to try to save money, you know, if you can afford it, make your payments. Everything that's going on is just in case you cannot make your payments. Again, the choice is, do I feed my family or do I make this mortgage payment? If you're making that decision, guess what? Feed your family and look for all the assistance you can. Phil Stevenson, Mortgage Nerd, watch out with those forbearances unless you absolutely have to make it. Thanks.